Chapter 9, Communication Skills Effective Introduction Communication skills are essential for success in both personal and professional settings. Being able to communicate effectively helps individuals to build strong relationships with others, convey their thoughts and ideas, and achieve their goals. This chapter will cover the key communication skills that individuals need to develop to communicate effectively. 2. Verbal Communication Verbal communication is the use of spoken words to convey a message. Effective verbal communication skills include clear and concise speaking, active listening, and the ability to adjust communication style to suit the audience. Clear and concise speaking involves using simple and direct language, avoiding jargon or technical terms, and being mindful of the tone and pace of speech. Active listening involves paying attention to the speaker, using verbal and nonverbal cues to show understanding, and asking questions to clarify understanding. The ability to adjust communication style to suit the audience involves being aware of cultural differences, using appropriate language and tone, and adjusting communication style to suit the purpose and audience of the communication. 3. Nonverbal Communication Nonverbal communication involves the use of body language, facial expressions, and tone of voice to convey meaning. Effective nonverbal communication skills include being aware of body language and facial expressions, using an appropriate tone of voice, and understanding cultural differences in nonverbal communication. Body language and facial expressions can convey emotions and attitudes and can be used to support or contradict verbal communication. The tone of voice can also convey emotion and attitude and can affect the meaning of spoken words. Understanding cultural differences in nonverbal communication is important for avoiding misunderstandings and building positive relationships with people from different cultural backgrounds. For example, in some cultures, direct eye contact may be viewed as a sign of respect and interest, while in other cultures it may be seen as aggressive or disrespectful. 4. Written Communication Written communication involves the use of written words to convey a message. Effective written communication skills include clarity, conciseness, and appropriate tone and style for the audience and the purpose of the communication. Clear and concise writing involves using simple and direct language, organizing information logically, and being mindful of grammar and spelling. The appropriate tone and style of writing depend on the purpose and audience of the communication. For example, a formal business letter may require a different tone and style than an email to a friend. It is also important to consider the format of the communication, such as whether it will be read on a computer screen or paper. 5. Listening Skills Effective listening skills involve paying attention to the speaker, clarifying understanding, and responding appropriately. Active listening skills include paraphrasing, reflecting on feelings, and asking open-ended questions. Paraphrasing involves restating the speaker's message in your own words to confirm understanding. Reflecting feelings involves acknowledging the emotions expressed by the speaker. Open-ended questions encourage discussion and help to clarify understanding. Effective listening also involves being mindful of nonverbal cues, such as body language and tone of voice, and being aware of your own biases and assumptions. 6. Asking questions. Asking questions is an essential component of effective communication. Asking open-ended questions can encourage discussion and help to clarify understanding, while closed-ended questions can be used to gather specific information. Open-ended questions allow the speaker to express their thoughts and feelings, while closed-ended questions can be used to confirm understanding or gather specific information. It is important to ask questions in a respectful and non-judgmental manner and to be mindful of cultural differences in questioning style. Effective questioning skills also involve being aware of your own biases and assumptions and being open to learning from others. 7. Emotional Intelligence Emotional intelligence is the ability to identify and manage one's own emotions, as well as the emotions of others. Effective communication skills involve a high degree of emotional intelligence, as emotions can affect how messages are perceived and understood. Emotional intelligence involves self-awareness, self-regulation, motivation, empathy, and social skills. Self-awareness involves understanding one's own emotions and their impact on others. 
Self-regulation involves managing emotions and avoiding impulsive behavior. Motivation involves using emotions to drive action toward goals. Empathy involves understanding the emotions of others and responding appropriately. Social skills involve effectively managing relationships with others. 8. Conflict Resolution Conflict resolution skills are essential for effective communication, as conflicts can arise in any relationship or situation. Effective conflict resolution involves identifying the root cause of the conflict, listening to the perspectives of all parties involved, and finding a mutually acceptable solution. Conflict resolution skills involve active listening, empathy, communication skills, and negotiation skills. Active listening and empathy help to build understanding and rapport with the other party. Communication skills help to convey messages clearly and effectively. Negotiation skills help to find a mutually acceptable solution to the conflict. 9. Cultural Competence Cultural competence is the ability to interact effectively with people from different cultures. Effective communication skills involve a high degree of cultural competence, as cultural differences can affect how messages are perceived and understood. Cultural competence involves awareness, knowledge, and skills. Awareness involves being mindful of one's own biases and assumptions. Knowledge involves understanding different cultures and their values, beliefs, and customs. Skills involve being able to adapt communication style to suit the cultural context, and to communicate effectively with people from different cultural backgrounds. 10. Technology and Communication Technology has revolutionized the way we communicate, but it has also created new challenges and opportunities for effective communication. Effective communication skills in the digital age involve being mindful of the context and purpose of the communication and adapting the communication style to suit the medium. Effective digital communication skills include clear and concise writing, appropriate use of tone and style, and being mindful of nonverbal cues in video conferencing and online communication. It is also important to be mindful of privacy and security concerns and to use technology responsibly and ethically.